you know, this is my first trip out of the city uh, in nine months. I uh, crossed the pass of the water. Uh, I died three times, and, but I came back to life as Lazarus too. Uh, I had a liver transplant, which I'll show you in a while. And uh, I didn't think I was going to be here. But, you know, like, I am trying to remember. You know, like, because when you're born, you don't remember anything. And my first memory is being at Higgins Beach in Maine and falling off a life raft. You know, little, little floating rafts. And I can see my mother, and I'm looking up. And her hand's coming down to pull me out of the water. Damn, this is great. And that's where I'll be for the rest of my life. But no, I grew. I learned things, I forgot things. I did stupid things. It's some smart things, good things too. Uh, have a family, kids, grandchildren, people that like me. I uh, have all, most of my hair, some of my teeth. But having been challenged by death, I was challenged a couple of times. Drowning. Drowning is always scary. I get drowned in uh, Bali on a wave, buried. My friend Richie said, shit, Pete's dead. But I crawled onto the water, onto the beach. Beach boy said, do you want to go back out? And I said, not a chance. Uh, I drowned at Boy Scout camp. They were having a greased pig, which is a watermelon, and everybody's fighting for it. And I got underneath and I basically drank the, drank the weight. But I'm here at Kevin and Rose pool. And uh, I haven't been swimming in Rockaway Beach last year. And uh, today I'm gonna go swimming, because why? Because my people came from the ocean. We sailed all the way around the world. We crossed the Atlantic. One of them, John Howland, he fell off the fucking Mayflower. And there was a rope, he didn't know how to swim. He grabbed the rope and pulled himself back onto the Mayflower. Had 11 kids. You know, somehow I was in that mix. My grandmother came across on the, some cow ship from Ireland. She never went on a, a boat again. Now, I've, crossed waters in Indonesia, England, between the channels and places like that. And sometimes it feels like the boat's going down. And there's only two cures for seasickness, land or drowning. But I'm not gonna drown today. And I'm gonna go into this water, which I know is gonna be damn cold. Like I fell into a lake up here one year, my dog was chasing something, some animals in there. I looked at it and they were coyotes. I've never seen coyotes before. And they, uh, he fell in and I went in and got him. Damn, that was cold water. And this is gonna be cold too. The coldest I've ever been was 38 degrees in Peaks Island about three years ago. My friend Quentin and I went in. His dog just looked at us in the shore and said, you guys are fucking stupid. We have been doing drinking and we have been doing some drugs didn't matter. It was cold. Now, I have a choice here. Naked or not naked. And there's only there's only one choice for going in this way, and that's to dive in. So, I think I'm going to go from this end, drop my trousers, and jump in. Because this is it. It's not so bad. Whoa! <laughs> It's not even to the deep end. <laughs> and that, I'm still alive. Lazarus, the second.